Public Enemy, Chuck D, Wu Tang Clan, 90s hip hop. I like the beats, I like the rhythm, you know? Drop facts, cause y'all don't wanna go there with that. Bass is high. Take me out with the fader. I'm unspeakable. I like skiing. More than anyone here. Let it be known that the truth is here. And these young thugs still need a booster chair. At the table with a label for food for their career. But treat it like me. My first year I was an intern, and yeah, you work for free. The second year, I got hired as a guide, and I made $8 an hour. You're 39 years old, you're making a minimum wage. Pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> so before the cat track, there was a downhill with kind of a rolling compression. Silverton Mountain Guiding is managing people you're keeping them safe from themselves, from the environment. It's like no other place in the whole world. Kind of like run of the season. Yeah, seriously. Clothing over there, you got your kitchen stuff here. Full bathroom. Yeah, I'd, uh, my maid hasn't come. Just a sweet little four burner stove here that I think I can get like a 18 or 19 pound turkey in there. Eggs, dried beans, Q-tips. And these two are clothing, only clothing. Personal hygiene corner. Don't need much room for that. This is sweet, this sink. I found it. If there's anything important, it's here. I really don't have it filed very well. This raises up, let me make more room that way. Just the footprint is 215 square feet. And money doesn't matter to me, it never has. And it's not that I'm rich, I didn't come from money and I still don't have money. If you have debt that you owe, you're not totally free. No rent, no credit card, no telephone, no car payment. I guess my mom and dad, you know, they just stress like, pay your bills on time. I'm the youngest of seven kids, five older brothers and one older sister. And being the last, mom and dad were like, we don't want to kick them out of the house. We want to hang on to this for as long as we can. I lived with my mom and dad till I was 26. They were happy with me saying that I wasn't going to grow up. I physically feel young in my mind. Everybody around me is younger than me. I'm in my 20s as far as my physical health goes. That's honestly, man, I'm dead serious. I've hit a fountain of youth. Well, blue skies on the horizon. Oh my god, fuck yeah! Excuse us if you doubt, you done screwed up. I met him at the airport and he was wearing his sunglasses indoors. He has Tevas on. The only thing he brought to Alaska are Tevas. He's got this big old bushy beard with gray speckled into it. And then you look at him in the eyes and you're looking at like a seventh grader. It's funny, I have this shirt somebody gave me. It says, uh, Ultimate Peter Pan. Peter Pan was a boy who never grew old. The 
Lost Boys. They were a group of misfits. Tinkerbell had fairy dust that she sprinkled on everyone and they could fly. You know, I think he was a tragic hero. He was a hero to those who embraced youthfulness. He was tragic to those stuck in the linear world. see why it can't be a guide for the next hundred years. <laughs>